We're basically building upon some of the fundamental science that we've done in the lab and really trying to, I guess, change the way people think of waste and waste treatment. So at the moment, we kind of buy things, use them, throw them away. We're actually sitting on these kind of potential gold mines that are full of metals, trace elements, all organics, all sorts of things that we should actually be taking back out rather than just destroying these molecules. And that's what we're trying to do. And then what we're doing is that we're growing defined bacterial and algal consortia, which are basically microbes that we originally isolated from the waste stream a couple of years ago. And we've engineered them to break down the toxic elements, but also to exchange some of these between each other. Um, so these will grow, the algae will grow, take up the metals, and then we can recover this algae and recover metals for our industrial uh, partner. We're very keen on looking within Viridor for new um, opportunities to create products and materials from what would otherwise be described as a waste material. And this is just another example of us taking a waste stream that is our own waste stream and finding a productive use for it. So we're not using a one algal species. We've got bacteria to break down organics, we've got which, which actually then provide nutrients for the algae. The algae can take them up. They don't need lots of light. They don't need hot temperature, uh, so warm temperature. So then they can exchange and survive for a long time. So that's our innovation. And then we've also got an innovation of how to separate the algae from the water once they've grown. And that has to be low energy and low cost as well. isolated some bacteria and algae from landfill site near the leachate pond and we are trying to adapt them to, uh, to grow on um, various concentrations of leachate. So this bioreactor has been uh, inoculated with 10% leachate and uh, water and we introduced our culture that we grew in the lab of algae and bacteria uh, into this leachate and now it's the second week and you can see this nice green color. These are algae, mix of algae and bacteria actually. So basically we're investigating what's happening in the culture at the moment. If you have a landfill site and you can have a pond next door that allows you to collect really expensive things that might be buried in there and separate them, that should be applicable to every landfill site and it works in temperate climates, so it will work everywhere. This is a bit of science that's really deeply understood the energetics of cleanup, and rather than using a buried form of energy, has used the energy from the sun directly. As you can see, the, the tank is getting filled with the, our uh, consortia, with our algae, bacteria and protozoa, which are floating in this 10% leachate. So you can see a lot of bub little, tiny, tiny microscopic bubbles forming in this area from the sparges that were placed at the bottom of the tank. And this bubbles supposed to help us to harvest our algae, they're supposed to push them up to the top um, so we can basically harvest them. It worked! Wow, this is unbelievable, it actually worked! <laughs> Environmentally friendly solution for harvesting algae, that is beautiful. So I'm really happy because we've got this uh, culture, we, we managed to harvest it our uh, bioreactor today and we, it's a great success um, and we've got this culture here in this box just right now our algae 
Well, I'm extremely pleased about what's happened. I mean, we had three different innovations that we needed to combine. We only really had one shot at it as well, considering the climate here in South Yorkshire. But we've managed to achieve it. We've managed to demonstrate all of them. And the results are looking, they're looking pretty good, actually. The principal thing that came out of this was that we had a real brown, mucky, toxic liquid, which effectively, at the end of our process, was clear. We have also have a load of biomass, algal biomass, of course, it's got bacteria in it as well, which is containing all these different types of metals, etc., which the industrial partner wanted to recover. So we've basically done exactly what we wanted to do, and we've, we've, we've got a liquid there that can be released directly into the environment. So using algae today in real time with real sunshine to do the cleanup, collect all the rubbish, and take it away and leave clean water behind is one of the smartest things I've heard. The fact that we've done it in Sheffield with South Yorkshire climate, and in fact it was around autumn as well, it wasn't even in summer, is a real step change in people's thinking because everyone always thinks of cultivated microalgae within hot, sunny climates, but we've shown that it can be done uh, within the conditions that we've had. I must add, it did have its friends with it. The algae did have the bacteria, and that is a key thing. The consortia worked much better than expected.